It's very important to get high quality charging cables for the MacBook or any modern laptops. I recently bought my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro chip. And I'm going to test the basis USB-C cable with 100 watts as it supports data transfer. It can also be used with the uh, iPad capacity um, using a power meter as usual. Uh, to establish the baseline, I'm going to use the original MacBook Pro 140 watts charger. It comes with this Type-C to MagSafe charging cable. And then I'm going to test uh, the output of this charger from basis 100 watts multi port. And my MacBook Pro is currently sitting at 22% of battery capacity. Okay, uh, let's see 140 watts charger, MagSafe connection. We can see the power output on the meter over there as uh, while we are waiting for it to reach the peak output I'm going to unbox the two pack well actually I'm only getting 87.9 but in my other test the maximum max safe output is around 120 watts somehow for this test today I'm only able to max out at 100 watts at the maximum brightness somehow with the original 140 watt charger with the MagSafe charging port and now let's try out the basis cable Ninety six point two. They are all rated at one hundred watts, and using the uh, original Apple charger, I'm getting the maximum sixty uh, ninety six point two watts uh, with the USB Type C cable. An alternative to the original Apple charger, I would recommend the basis one hundred watts multi port with dual USB-C and dual USB-A. Ninety-five watts. So it is equivalent of using the original Apple charger to charge your MacBook with the USB-C cable. This is a really good charger and you can have uh, additional devices plugged in as it supports data transfer. It can also be used with the uh, iPad. You can directly connect your iPad to the computer and trust and directly transfer files between these two devices.